Hey guys, Trent here from How To Haven, back again with another quick tutorial, and today we're fixing error 400 on the Xbox app after you try to sign in. Um, and before we get into this, I just want to ask, if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping a super thanks, or just engaging in the video in any way, as it really does help me out. But let's get right into this. So if you have this error, which I've already resolved, so I don't have it up, but go ahead and close everything, and make sure everything is closed in terms of the Xbox app. Yeah, it looks good. And our first step is going to be to repair or reset the gaming services. So go to your settings, hit the Windows key, type in settings, you'll get here, go to apps, and this will come up. And you're going to want to search the list for gaming services. Hit this, go to advanced options, and I like to hit reset. To reset the services entirely and after I do a reset I then hit repair um, just to be safe so after you do this you can go and check if it's worked try and sign in again but I'm going to assume it hasn't and we're going to go on to the next solution um, but that is the first and easy solution so give that a try and if that doesn't work try this next solution which is going to be to uninstall and reinstall gaming services and we have to do this through PowerShell which is a Windows program. So hit the Windows key, type in PowerShell, and you're gonna wanna right click and run as administrator. Hit yes when you're prompted, and you're gonna get this screen. And there's a couple commands you wanna type in, or actually just one, and I will put that in the description. I have it copied here for my use. Uh, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna paste it into here with Control V. Oh, doesn't wanna paste. Let me try again. There we go. You can right click to paste, hit enter. Um, and that's going to basically remove um, the, the program. And sorry, we do need a second one, my bad. And we're going to reinstall it with this code, which we can again right click to paste and hit enter. And it will reinstall the gaming services app, which will open up the Microsoft Store. Um, and you're going to want to hit install here, hit yes when you're prompted, that's going to install real quick, and once that installs, again, you can go try to sign in and see if that has fixed the problem. Um, if that still doesn't fix the problem, we have one more solution we can try, um, and this is just code recommended by Microsoft. I'm honestly not exactly sure what it does, um, but we're going to give it a try, and it's this code right here. So let's close our PowerShell to reset it. Open it up again. Remember to run as an administrator. Hit yes when prompted. And we're just gonna take this code here and we're gonna hit copy and we're gonna paste it into here. Press enter. And it's gonna go through this whole process. Just wait for it to finish. It might take a while. Um, and again, once it's done, you can go ahead, give your sign in a try and see if it works. Now, Remember, once it's done, go and give it a try. Anyways, guys, if this video helped, please drop a like, leave a comment. You know what to do. Peace.